Hi, you guys. Happy Friday to you guys. This is Prophetess of your Sabrina Acapo and wanted to bring you a prophetic word that the Holy Spirit spoke into my spirit on today and as with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, with your mercy, telling your story so your name can be glorified for the winning of souls to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ, mighty name that I do pray. Amen, 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 and amen. So the title, you guys, of this prophetic word is what I have set cannot be disconnected. What I have set cannot be disconnected. And so you guys, my friends and I were having a conversation and all of a sudden, um, the Holy Spirit really starts speaking to me deep and it's kind of piggybacking off of the word that I uploaded yesterday about the 333 call that you speak into the atmosphere atmospheric that you speak specifically atmospheric and the lord brought that back to surface because the lord is wanting you to know that this atmospheric speaking that you're doing is setting something in motion is causing a shift is causing a change is causing an opening it's causing a double portion it's causing the lord plan to stand in your life it's causing the lord to manifest and bring forth to fruition the blessings all alone that he had predestined for you, all alone that he had pur purpose for you, all alone that he had in store for you. And the Lord is bringing forth because of your intentionality, because of your commitment, because of your consistency. The Lord is wanting you to know that he has set before thee an open door. He has set before thee the master key. And the scripture that he provided to me is going to be Revelations 3 and 8. I know your deeds. I know your deeds. See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. I know that you have little strength, yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. The Lord has said, because you have spoken to the atmosphere specifically, because you have put me first, because you have chose me to be a part of the plan, the plan cannot be denied. It can never be disconnected. The plan will always stand. The Lord has said, I know your deeds. I know the authentic you. I know the true you. I know the real you. And what I, what I have placed before you is all things new. The Lord is wanting you to know because you have been building a closer intimacy with him, because you have been building a closer relationship with him, because you have been speaking at things specifically, because you have been speaking that thing into the atmosphere. The Lord is saying, I know your deeds, I know your necessities, and I know everything that you need. And I'm providing all of those needs according to my riches and my glory in Christ Jesus. But my God will supply all your needs according to his riches and his glory in Christ Jesus. The Lord is wanting you to know that your next has been set, that your new has been shed, that he has already gone before you and granted you his grace and unmerited faith, that he has already gone before you and made all of your crooked pathways straight, that he has gone before you in order to orchestrate your step. Because remember, the steps of a good man, the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. And if you have called him and placed him First and foremost, before anything, the strength that you had, the Lord is wanting you to know because he abides on the inside of you. The Lord wants you to know that he is giving you a double portion of strength and the power that you have had, the faith that you have had in him. The Lord is wanting you to know that he is double portion of that faith. He is double portion of that power. And this is thine hour. And the Lord is wanting you to know that hour has been set for your new, that hour has been set for your next, that he know your deeds and you will succeed successfully. And you will, the Lord has said, you will succeed. The Lord has said, it will not be disconnected. It cannot be denied. The Lord is saying, he has placed that open door for you and he has set before you all things new and open prize, an open door prize that you would never be a demise that you have come out of shame and that he has changed the entire trajectory of your life. And the Lord is saying who you were in the past, what you have done in the past 
is not who you are in the now. The Lord is saying he has already brought about a change and a rearrange it. He has already worked it out. What I have set can not be disconnected. It can not be denied. The Lord is saying, because I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, to give you a future and to give you a hope. So it can never be denied. What he has written and set and promised and predestined before you because he already has set this thing out. When he chose you, he already knew the things that you were going to do. But the things that you were going to do, if you placed them for him specifically and prayed a prayer and have been working on yourself, the Lord is wanting you to know that you will walk into what he predestined for you. You will walk into what he promised for you. You will walk into the new. It can never be denied. You can never be stopped. You can never be blocked. What he, what his word says that settles it, it has already been set in motion. The Lord has said he has already placed you in a range of motion. He has already placed you in new dimensional orders in this quarter. And I hear I have set before thee an open door. The Lord has said what I have set can not be disconnected. And he wants me to read that scripture again because somebody needs to know that they will succeed and the Lord is going to give you all that you need because he's your source of supplier, your provider. And because you have been speaking atmospherically and because you have been putting him first place, the Lord is saying, you will continue running the race and you will continue running the race with endurance. You will continue running the race with double power. You will continue running the race with double faith. You will continue running the race. It's nobody, no more is going to be a little strength. The Lord has said, but you can do all things through Jesus Christ who gives you strength. And he, if he abides on the inside of you and you have that strength and then he's placed his strength on the inside of you, the Lord is saying that strength is going, going to be double. And the Lord is saying your life is going to be double portion. I know your deeds. Re, uh, Revelations 3 and 8. I know your deeds. See, I have placed before you an open door that no no one can shit. I know that you have a little strength, yet you have kept my word. You have kept my word. You have kept my word. My word can never be denied. My word is going to go forth. You're going to shine forth. You're going to shine forth in the light of my gl glory. You're going to be able to tell your story. So my name can be glorified. You are in. You are entering into your next chapter. You are running into your next level. You will thrust forth. The Lord is saying on one accord because you have not denied my name. You have not denied my word. You've kept the faith. You stayed in consistency. You stayed committed to me. You stayed in intentionality. And the Lord is saying the new you will see, the new you will enter because it was already predestined by me. That's it. The spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What I have set can not be disconnected and it can not be denied. My word will go forth. If my word says it, that settles it. I have broken the iron bars. You will go far. You will succeed successfully because it was predestined in my plans. And who is someone that could change my plans? Who is someone that could deny my power? Who is someone that could deny your faith. The Lord is saying, because you have kept the faith, I have made waves for you. I have made waves for you. And my word can never be denied. And that strength, I have doubled your strength. The Lord is saying, everything that you're going to do, I have placed a double portion on. I have placed a double portion of my power on the inside of you, just like Elijah did for Elijah. What I have set can not be disconnected. What I have set can not be denied. What I have promised, purpose, and predestined for you, the Lord wants you to know that you're walking in your truth. You're walking in your new. You're walking in your next. It is in total effect. And it was a part of my plan that will stand. You will never any longer stand in a distant land, but you will stand in a land of promise. And the Lord has said you will stand in a land of promise this month. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Don't forget to hit that notify bell where you guys can be notified each time I upload a video. Video. Welcome, 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 welcome to all of my new subscribers, you guys. Welcome to the fam. I pray that this word really gave you a revelation and understanding of what the Lord was saying. The Lord is saying you can never be denied. You can never be blocked. You can never be stopped as long as you're being specific and speaking that thing atmospherically and you have trusted in me. You were faithful in me, believing that I will perform it, believing that I have already predestined it, believing that I have already made the necessary changes, believing that I have gone before you and made every necessary step, believing that I have already taken you to another dimensional level. It can never be stopped. It can never be blocked. You will reach the top. You will 
enter your new, you will enter your next phase. You will enter your new era. The Lord is saying center stage, no more behind the scenes, but to the forefront. The Lord is saying he is doing it in this month. What I have set can not be disconnected. It can never be disconnected because my word cannot be disrespected. You would it, My word cannot be disconnected. You will never be put to shame and you will walk in your new dimension because I have already brought forth manifestation. I have already brought forth fruition. I have already changed your name. The Lord has said a good name is better than riches. I have already changed the name. You're walking in a new you. You're walking in your new era. You're walking in your faithful and true and that can never be disconnected nor can it be denied because the plan has already been set in motion and your new is already set in action. You are about to be that major attraction and the time is now. What I have set cannot be disconnected. That said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Keep the comments, the likes, the shares, the words of encouragement, the prayers coming because I am telling you they keep me thrusting forth. Stand with the Lord on one accord, stand in prayer and believe in tapping into the activation of grace and the oil, the anointed on this word for myself, receiving it for myself, tapping into the grace, the oil and the noxion, the the oil of the anointing on this word and the unction of this word because this word is taking you somewhere and the Lord is saying it's taking you higher for what you were predestined for, that you're walking in your promise it can never be disconnected your promise can never be denied thus said the spirit of the living god in the mighty name of jesus christ thank you so much for sowing into this ministry thank you so much for the super thanks you guys i love each and every one of you guys i am constantly praying for each and every one of you guys happy 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 friday you guys may the lord richly bless each and every one of you guys and see you guys all through to the greatness of success of god's best in the mighty name of jesus and the lord's wants me to say it again what i have said cannot be disconnected and it can never be denied my word stands your destiny stands my plan stands you will shine forth in your new era you will shine forth and destiny you will shine forth in your new land of promise the lord has said it's happening this month i'm doing something i'm shifting and i'm bringing about changes as well as changing your name bringing you out of shame and bring you into honor this month thus said the spirit of the living god in the mighty name of jesus christ take care we will most certainly talk on the next god bless you richly Bye-bye.